Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I've arrived at Dollar Tree. I haven't, I feel like I haven't been in a Dollar Tree in months, but to be honest, it's probably been a week, right? I wanted to go in and see if there's some new items arriving. I know fall things have started arriving yet. I am so not ready for fall. Summer vacation is just beginning so I don't want to rush it but I do want to see if there's something new and I want to be able to share that with you if you guys are starting to do crafts I know a lot of you also do crafts in um, like at fairs craft fail uh, fairs craft sales so I want you to be on top of what's out even though I'm not ready to purchase some of these things I say that now we'll see what's inside uh, there may not be any fall things but I did get the notice a couple weeks ago from a manager that we were starting to receive new things and I'm looking forward to seeing what's new and um, if there's any new fun summer things as well so anyways i hope you guys enjoy walking through with me and then i look forward to sharing hopefully a haul with you happy birdies i love when they're tweeting they're just happy with the nice weather it is super super hot here though this week oh my goodness just boiling i think the hottest week we've had so far I have my shopping bags, the bigger ones. They actually help too when I'm shopping around. They kind of protect things from falling into holes. Or if you have glass or ceramic where at least you don't kind of risk breaking things, they have a nice secure place. These are the plates I shared a little while ago with you guys. I think last week they're not selling out as fast as I thought, but they didn't have a lot to begin with. unless they've put more out. The placemats are going. These are really pretty. There's bread, fresh bread. I always like coming in and seeing what kind of bread we have. And they still have some of the gorgeous blue and white print. Two plates. The mugs are a little bit of a different color, but the bowls and the plates are absolutely gorgeous. They are selling out as well. I'm gonna take a peek here. I like looking at their t-shirts for my kids because in the summer it's always nice to have a few of these on hand and I like really nice bright colors for the park so I could spot them. These are really tiny. You can do some work with them if you're working with vinyl for little ones. These are white, nice thick t-shirts. School supplies are being put out. This is exciting because I always love to look at their new prints. Oh, cute little ice cream cone pen. Oh my goodness. Super cute notebooks. Oh, I just used one of these to make a beautiful floral arrangement. I used some fresh peonies and some faux flowers from the Dollar Tree here. And I put them in there. I actually posted that on the channel. Super simple. I just kind of shared with you how I put it together. Still lots of Canada Day things here, but I'm sure this will all switch over to um, school supplies in a couple days. Probably next week. When I come back, it will be completely cleared out. That's a really great price for a car flag.
I'm so tempted by these little cacti. Every time I see them, it's the little pink flower on them. They're super cute. Twenty calendars are now available and they look like they have some new prints. These ones have like, some of them have a small calendar and then a bigger calendar. Cute for like a coastal, even if you want to take these apart and frame them, they're cute for coastal. Look at these. I love this print. You can cut these out and put them in frames as well, or you can mod podge them. Check this out. So these are the themes here. That one is this one here. I'm gonna pull them out and share them with you. Oh, this one's farmhouse. Wow, so many DIYs you can do with this. So much fun. I'm gonna share them all with you and then you guys can take a look at the, if any of the prints inspire you to create anything. more lol things i have a daughter who my daughter and friends her friends love lol so i think i'm gonna buy three of these little pencil cases these are gonna sell quick well, these are new two pack of lip balm they don't look like their name brand so i typically like lip smacker those are little well those are giant lol erasers this is different Six feet of coloring sheets. Monster high pencils. I'm not sure if that's still popular amongst the kids. Oh, I wish these were like nice white pages.
Okay, so before I go into the craft aisle, actually, I'm going to look at the cleaning supplies because that's something you guys always ask for me to film and I always seem to pass it by. I don't know why. It's just maybe not somewhere that I usually buy things from, so I tend to forget to film this area. I'm more obsessed with like the stationery and the craft aisle. So here are some of the things that are available at our stores. Has anyone ever used the yellow liquid by LA's Totally Awesome for cleaning leather car seats? Okay, so now we're back in the craft aisle where I was originally headed to. I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I see here. I love these little art palettes even for organizing um, when I'm using beads or trinkets for making pocket letters so they don't roll away off my desk. I usually put them in those little dividers. So there's some of our acrylic paints. We've got chalk paint, these little daubers, sponge daubers. And then um, we've got little wood plank plaques. And these ones are super cute if you wanted to bedazzle something like that for a room, bedroom room sign, like a, a name, personalized name. I love using these canvas boards. I don't see any 8x10s today. Look like they're all sold out. Somebody was asking if we have felt and natural wood slices, wood numbers. So anyways, I'll just take you guys down this area because I know a lot of you guys like to see what I find at my store. Is this new washi? It's very pretty. Nice pink color.
Oh, I love these little pier piercing and scoring tools. I have a couple of them on my craft cart at all times. They're very helpful with the beads and poking things. Little label stickers. And I'll go through the sticker section. I know a lot of you love, oh, these are new. Love to see all the stickers I have. I have a dedicated video with pretty much every single sticker you'll see here. Um, and get a really nice close-up of all the stickers. Sometimes I fill little bits and pieces here and there. Um, we have such a huge sticker collection that it takes like 20 minutes just to film everything. So I typically don't share every single one in detail. I try to kind of browse and spot if there's something new to share with you. But I know some of you really enjoy watch looking at the stickers. So if you take a peek like these here are new. If you take a peek at a previous video, you'll see all of these. And then I just kind of add as I see new things posted, like these little stars are new. If I see new things displayed, then I share them in this video in the new walkthrough. But uh, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know because I know you guys like that I take my time in the sticker aisle, but it's huge. Like this is like almost the entire half an aisle is of stickers. These colors remind me of my childhood. They were so popular back then. I hear excellent reviews on these. I cannot wait to open my packages. I just bought this one here. Don't buy the flags. I opened a package. One works. The other one's skipping. All right, so we'll go down this area here and see if there's... Oh, that's cute. Anything new and fun? Oh, somebody broke. I'll keep that out of the way. I gotta let one of the girls know. One of the workers knows so a little one doesn't pick that up and cut themselves. Take you down the picture frames and see if there's any new style frames for crafting with.
Ooh, some lemons. And these are actually very pretty. Great to go with some of the lemon themed decor that's happening out there. I wish they had mini lemons. That's pretty too. Very well done, Dollar Tree. I always like looking at these giant wall decal stickers because I like to put them on the outside of Happy Mail packages when I do send out a package. So sometimes there's cute stickers that just need to come home with me, such as the mermaids. These are gorgeous. I love them. So pretty. I'm always tempted by these inflatables, but I haven't tried them. Has anyone used them? Do they stay inflated? Are they thin? Do they, are they durable? I'm curious to know what the quality is like on them. Well, this is new. I think it is. I've never noticed it before. Sensitive Care with Lightning Therapy. Has anyone tried this brand before? I'd say that's a pretty good buy.
quick question for you. Anyone tried these markers before? They're supposed to be able to write like on mugs and decorate them. Do they stay on once you wash it? Um, or can it stay on if you dishwash it? Typically I will hand wash, but I'm just curious to see if anyone has tried it and if it's lasted on uh, decorating mugs. These are fun socks. Looks like a brand and name. It has two pairs. They're fun with the little fries. Oh, this is a random placemat. I didn't see these. I don't think I saw them. It's a nice teal color. Shelf liner. Sometimes there's some great stuff here for cutting with your silhouette or cricket. I think these are gonna get me today. I've been super good, but the corn twists are fun to eat. Shall I or shall I not? Hmm. Ooh, this looks interesting. Maybe I can make a nice iced coffee. So all the paper is down to 150. It was 160. I had an old package in my pantry and now they're down to 150 so I'm going to keep an eye and see if I still see any old packages at other stores. I'm going to go down the organization stuff just to share with you what I see. The organization baskets and all sorts of things that you can organize your drawers with are found here at the Dollar Tree. Like these guys have little bottom grippers. They're fantastic. They remind me of the Rubbermaid ones that you're going to pay a lot more money for. Oh my goodness, this is fully stocked and I absolutely love the pattern of these bins and I have a couple of them already in my craft room. One actually sits on my desk as my kind of catch-all bin. I absolutely love it. It sits on the corner. I think I need more in my life. This one's not my favorite. It's just I like things that have more space inside like this without the bubble. I have one of these as well in my craft room.
So I'm going to admit that I bought instant coffee, this one here, and I had to throw it out. It was terrible. I did not like it. If you have, I apologize, but oh my gosh, that was probably the grossest coffee I have had. And I'm not picky. I'm not picky. I am on a roll down this aisle. So many great items for great prices. Triscuits, so nice for a cheese platter. I like these as well, so do the kids. We'll have a treat. Oh, my son loves these. So happy to find this one. I hope they have more sitting around. Ah, Miracle Whip. Okay, so I usually buy mayo. What is the difference between these? Okay, so I'm just going to finish up my shopping. I'm going to say goodbye. I think I've gone through all the aisles with you guys today. And until next time, I, have you, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will hopefully share a haul with you very soon. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.